What is going on, Maryville Saint fans? I'm here with Captain Jack Harrison, senior from Chesterfield, Missouri. Jack, how you doing, man? I'm doing well. Doing well. How are you? I'm doing good. Is it crazy that uh, the time's ticking down? You've, you, you know, we got a, a few weeks left here in the season. Um, you know, what are your thoughts so far on on this year? Uh, it's definitely been an interesting year. Uh, I can't believe it's my last one, but like, there's times we look like a a top five country, a top five team in the country, and times when you're like, who who's on the ice right now? But no, it's been a been a lot of fun. Great group of guys. Uh, and I can't believe it's we got two regular season games left and then nationals. It's flown by. Has it has it hit you yet that you're a you're a senior? Oh yeah. No, a hundred percent. Yeah. There's a couple of games after this. It's definitely been emotional. Uh when we were in Springfield, Missouri State, the UCO ones, it's definitely been a pretty emotional uh second half of the season. It's it sneaks up on you for sure. Yeah, you talk about, you know, the emotions and obviously you know, these next couple of games coming up will be emotional, senior night and whatnot. What has been one of your favorite memories so far, though, at Maryville in, in, in your time uh, wearing the wearing the big red M? Um, oh, man, what has been – I got I got probably two. So my first ever game, Maryville, I transferred in. Uh, so we played McKendry my – this is my freshman year, so five years ago. And uh, we weren't even supposed to be – we weren't even supposed to beat them, and we played them. One game, because their next game got canceled because of snow, a big snowstorm. We played him out there, and Romer got kicked out, and Carson came in that. And he won us the game, and it was it was, it was so much fun winning that first game with them. And then four, fast forward four years ago, to or now four years later to last year when we won the MCH. That was a, a really big stepping stone for this, uh, this program, and that was really cool to see us win our first trophy. Has this time at Maryville – you know, it wasn't your first school heading to uh, college, but has it exceeded your expectations so far? Yeah, way better. So I started at a, a different school and I came here and it was it was night and day better. Like we get treated so well here. And like, honestly, like John puts in so much time and cares so much about us that it's like it's really been like the most most fun five years of my life. And I wouldn't have traded for anything else. It's been it's been a blast. Obviously, you guys set goals at the beginning of the of the season. Um, heading into college, did you set goals for yourself? Obviously, on the ice, but off the ice as well as a student. Um, yeah, not, not really on the ice. So when I went to the first school I went to, I wasn't really like going there really much for hockey, mm -hmm. and uh, so I was mostly going there for the school. And I wanted to graduate in four years and get a master's in five, and then transferring over to Maryville, I really like noticed like hockey still like. A really big part of my life so I set a couple of goals in that and we're able to cheer my one we want to uh, some hardware and I'm still able to do my graduated last year and I'm getting my master's this year so I'm still able to uphold that one and get a couple more bonuses along the way and what has it meant for you to represent Maryville and of course wear the C on your chest uh leading this group of guys pretty awesome so I I don't think I've been the captain since I, when I was like since I was like 10 Mm -hmm. So like, being able to do this again for my last couple years of hockey, uh, it's been pretty, really, really, really special. And I'm sure there's other guys on this team that could that could do it probably better than me. But I'm glad I was I was selected. I'm able to do it. And guys look up to me. It's really like it means a lot to me. And uh, if you would have asked me five years ago if I would have been a captain of a top ten uh, team in the country, I would have been like, yeah, right. But <laughs> here we are now, and one month left, and. We just cracked the top 10, so we're doing pretty good. Yeah, one month left, like you said. Has there been any takeaways from not only this season, but uh, your time at Maryville? 100%, yeah. Don't don't take it for granted at all. We uh, There's been a couple of times we've come out on Fridays and we've looked dominant, and then we, we get uh, complacent, it's a big word, in our, our locker room right now. And uh, we seem to get a little complacent, take things for granted, and uh, it shows on those Saturday games sometimes. Well, I've seen you guys play at your best, obviously top 10 team. You guys have a, a great chance, uh, you know, in your final year. Uh, what would it mean to, you know, go on a run here in the national tournament with these guys? I mean, it'd mean just about everything. Right? It'd be so much fun. To, and I know we can do it. That's the thing. We just got to be ready to play all those four games in, in March. But it'd be, it'd be unbelievable. Like we've beaten – uh, we've won six games versus top 10 teams. We've lost six games versus top 10 teams. Mm -hmm. But I think it's pretty much – it's a lot more wide open this year than last year uh, for sure. 
So honestly, we know we can do it, and we just gotta we just gotta play like it. Confidence is huge, and we just gotta get a, keep rolling, uh, getting some confidence, and we'll see. We can do it. We can do a lot in March. Obviously, getting to the point where you're at right now, it, you know, it takes a lot of people to you know give yourself help along the way. Is there anyone that you would like to thank uh, as you finish your career up here at Maryville? Yeah, I mean, I, I'd love to thank like John, obviously, uh, for what he's done for the program. But like most important, like my parents, they have sacrificed so much uh, for my hockey and my fiance Lexi. She's she's been there every step of the way. So the support I've gotten from my parents and my fiance has just been I couldn't have asked for anything better. And I mean, it's they've done so much for me that I, I don't think I'd be able to repay them. So it's been uh, truly special to have all these people in my life and my family's a huge support system for me. I'm a big family person. We get together every Sunday. So I'm always seeing them, my brothers, my sister and all their family. So having just a huge group of people and like a huge lifeline all in St. Louis, it's really, really special that I get to play for them every weekend and represent uh, the family. Well, Jack, congratulations on a, on a great career at Maryville and continue doing what you're doing. You guys have a few games left to go here. Uh, before the national tournament begins in Boston. So once again, thanks for joining me and good luck the rest of the way. Yeah, thanks for having me.